Hi my friends, welcome to a new video. So one question I've got a lot in the past is how I slap, what's my slap technique, how do you learn to play slap? So I'm gonna cover that today. Uh, I've tried to set up the mic a bit lower so that I still use a good mic and you can hear me properly with good quality sound, but you can also see my hands on the neck, which I think that should that should be working right now. It's also super hot in Montreal these days, so I would be running the essay usually. I'm not right now so that you can hear me, but uh, hopefully this video is not very long. So yeah, let's get into it. So I might not be the best person to teach slap, like I've never learned the bass really, didn't take any lessons per se or anything. I just bought a bass because, well, I wanted to slap, In that was the main thing really. Like if it wasn't for slap, I would probably, you can insult me in the comments if you want, I would probably have stick to my guitar and just use an octave filter or something like this, I would have been happy with it. But the slap sound, that's really unique to the bass and I, that's just what I was craving at that point and still, still up to this day, so yeah. I would say, in my perspective on slap, is there's no real technique, like you're free to do whatever you want as long as it sounds good to you. Like there's no special finger technique or special like what you should do with your hand, do you use your thumb, do you not use your thumb, what hand do you use? Like you can do that if you want, you can use it here, you can, if you want to use a teaspoon to slap your bass, well, you're free to do it, you know, it's like, I, there's no approval of like some comedy or something on what slap or not slap really. So based on that, we really just try everything you want, you know, and, and keep doing what sounds good. Uh, but let's say the basic techniques would be to use your thumb. So I'm left-handed, so I do it on my left hand, but you can reverse everything, obviously. And, uh, I think one good exercise is uh, to play the pentatonic scale with your thumb slapping, and uh, I think that would be the best to get to get into the groove and to uh, to learn the technique. Uh, the pentatonic scale is, you know, used everywhere, like from rock, blues, funk, like jazz, everything. You know, it's not just about that, but it's it's common into so many music styles. And uh, I think if you know your way around it, you can you can go pretty far without too much effort. So to start very simple, I think that would be the best. So let's do this. Let's do it in uh, E so that it's, uh, it starts with the open string and it's also the, the easiest. So I would advise to practice that. Uh, I think you saw a bit where my fingers are and you can look up pentatonic scale, you know, uh, to, to know the notes and do it so that it sounds about like, like what I did, you know, like when you press with your thumb, you find, try different positions, try what suits, you know, your hand best and your bass best. Cause there's no like one position that fits everybody. It's going to be like your own hand, your own forearm, your own bass. Like the whole setup is going to be a bit unique to you and you, you need to find your own position where you're comfortable and where it sounds good. And then you do that again. And then I'm gonna try to go a bit fast. You obviously you can pause and like do that over and over again until you get it. And uh, then you can well start to play with those notes, you know. So feel free to play them in random orders basically and you'll get something interesting and like random rhythms a little bit. <laughs> So something like this, and you can see I use, uh, I think it's one of the main things I do when I slap is I slide a lot uh, with the notes. And I also uh, use, uh, how do you call that? Uh, tap and pull, I guess. So like when I do, 
I play this one and then I'm gonna tap this and it's gonna play the note, but I didn't choose my, well, here my left hand, you know? Uh, and then sometimes I play this note and then I just release my finger, I didn't touch this hand and it, it also plays the note. And so when you want to play fast and uh, stay in the groove, keep your rhythm, that's gonna be super useful. I use that like constantly, you might not even notice, but sometimes I, I, I play slap and like half the notes is like pull or, uh, or tap. So I think it's like one of the best techniques you can, uh, you can learn really to, uh, to play slap as well. So yeah, you would just like play this note and then you tap and you make sure that you tap it hard enough and around the fret so that it, uh, it resonates. And then the other way around, you just lift your finger, but in a way that you try to pick it a little bit, but I find it surprisingly easy to do with the bass. Like it most of the time sounds decent. Uh, without trying too hard to like really pick it properly uh, or anything, so so that's convenient. Let's try another little improvisation with those techniques. It's not perfect, but you know, you practice like usually I would play over and over again until I get like the perfect, you know, take. And uh, right now it's not that, you know, I, I don't play very well, but I, I can probably teach a little bit of slap. So I just use uh, the thumb so far and it's essentially in slap really. So I think we got that part down, like keep practicing that obviously. And uh, the other half of slap, let's say it's uh, picking. So when you do. So obviously that adds a lot right now because before I was just thumping all the way and now I add uh, this finger that I can pull the notes with and uh, it also creates that unique slap sound that's so, so good. So, well, really, you just get your finger down down the string. I wish I had another camera to uh, to show that closely, but you, you have to, uh, to imagine that uh, here. And uh, yeah, I'm just... So you just want to put it hard enough that when the string goes back, it uh, not only resonates, but it also hits the frets on the way. And the frets is what's going to make that uh, kind of rhythmic sound, you know, that percussion sound, which is why, you know, slap is like, a, it's nearly like you're doing drum and bass only on your bass. You know, there's like a lot of rhythmic going there. And even with the sounds of the frets, it's like, you know, you, you get the rhythm uh, with those sounds. So that's great and you can, well, you do that anywhere you want really. It's just you alternate thumb and picking like this and, uh, and you get that style. So I would say also with the picking like this, I use a lot the, I keep forgetting the names, but uh, tapping and pulling the notes. <laughs> and uh, slides as well. So with that combined, all those techniques, the thumb, the picking, and lots of sliding and uh, tapping and pulling, you, you have basically everything you need for basic slap. Uh, and now about the rhythm, uh, the main thing for me in funk in general, really anything funky, I would be, would be on the guitar, on the bass, when slapping is my left hand. So it's gonna be mostly more like your right hand, but it's my rhythm hand basically. And uh, if I'm gonna play funk guitar, I'm, I use my pick and I would be like, just doing that all the time, you know. And then I choose with my other hand on the neck what notes I want actually to play, but the rhythm is just always, always, always there. Uh, like it's, uh, you know, how do you call that in English? I lose my words, you know, but it's like, if you have a note, it's like, well, I'm, I'm decomposing that in two, so it would be like... And so that's what I'm playing with my that movement on my left hand. So it would be half notes, I guess, that's what you call it. And uh, when I slap, it's the same. Instead of like the guitar, I would do this. I I just do that rotation of my wrist here. And you see, it's mostly my uh, my wrist doing the movement. I don't I don't move my forearm really. I don't move my arm at all. It's just just the wrist doing it most of the time. Like there's a little bit of groove going on, obviously, in my arm, but it's, it's just the wrist doing that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So so you do that movement. <laughs> <laughs> 
with no nothing playing, you know. And then you start to add notes. great but you get the idea so that hand is mostly doing its thing all the time and that way I don't have to think about it it's just like grooving it in the rhythm and then with the neck hand I decide what notes I actually play and uh, it just gets together you know so this one is just grooving and it also just because I keep doing that sometimes I don't want to play a note but I'm still gonna pick because it's like the step I'm in in that like rotation of like thumb pick, thumb pick, and it just adds like a dead note and that gives rhythm, you know, it's like the drum part of your bass basically. Or sometimes I don't want to play the lower note here, but my thumb is gonna be on its way to hitting it because I keep doing that all the time. So then it's gonna just add another dead note and then. So that's pretty much it for that part. And uh, yeah, you see, I, I like to do a double pull, pull two notes instead of one at the same time. And mostly I do it with dead notes. Actually, I don't really play them. So when I do, for example, uh, that part, it like gives uh, an extra groove, you know, that like, like little roll thing. And uh, for doing that, really, I just use my, my middle finger on top of my index fingers. That you can, you can reuse whatever you want. Like if by default, Every note you play, you want to do to use your middle finger because that feels that feels more comfortable. Like you know, do it. It's uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Or sometimes like I uh, hurt my index finger because I played too much slap and it's like bleeding or something. And uh, the middle finger is still good, so I I would switch. I'm not used to it that much, but I would just play everything with my middle finger if I would try that. <laughs> And it works as well, you know, so you can alternate both if whatever feels comfortable to you. And you can use both at the same time if you want to do this little, like, uh, little roll technique thing. Roll technique thingy? What am I even saying? Anyways. And yeah, I really like the sound of that, so I try to, uh, to add it here and there to get that little drum roll rhythm thing in the middle of my slap. Uh, and I think I covered everything I wanted to say really. So yeah, don't be afraid to uh, to slap the way you want, with the fingers you want, with the techniques you want, like whatever position feels the best to you. There's no no official school of slaps that are that gonna tell you you're wrong or like it, it's not great. You know, if it sounds good, that's what matters. So do whatever you need for it to sound good and to be comfortable yourself. That would be my biggest advice. And obviously keep playing and playing and playing. Practice that thumb, practice that picking, do it more and more and more, you know, and um, and you, you'll get there. Like that's what I did, you know, never took any lessons. I was just like, oh, I want to play that and that and that. And I tried like for hours and hours and hours trying to get that sound. And eventually it improves, you know, and then you add even more stuff and more techniques. And uh, I still have a, a long way to go, you know, to play really well bass and slap. But uh, I think I'm at a point where I'm very happy with my, what I'm doing already. Another thing I wanted to mention, which is really useful, especially in a funk style, but really for any slap, uh, is to use, you know, when you decompose a note in four times, like you would say one E and the two E and the three E and the four, uh, each note there's like four uh, sub notes that you could play inside for the rhythm, you know, that's not clear at all, but hopefully you get it. And uh, instead of playing, most of the time, you know, you're gonna play on the, the main, like on the note itself, or maybe on the half note. Uh, but those kind of two 
half half i have no idea how to call that in english uh anyways if you try to play on those that's like that's even more funky like let's say uh let's start something so i'm gonna just play note like single the main note and now i'm gonna add the half with the octave for example to make it on the slap movement And that's cool, you know, you can you can do things with that. But then, if you want to add the quarter notes, uh, you get really interesting rhythms. So you can do, for example... And just on those two notes, you see it's getting more groovy, more funky. Uh, with those kinds of rhythm and uh, I think every little improvisation before in this video I've used uh, those quarter notes like here and there. Uh, so trying to vary that, like uh, add a bit of extra randomness in the notes you play and like uh, wait a tiny bit more for a note and add the quarter note here and there, uh, you get even more funky. So that's uh, another main thing to know when slapping. And uh, I think I've covered everything I wanted to talk about today. So I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you have any other suggestions for tutorials, any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications on and all that jazz. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Man, it's getting way too hot here. Yeah.